What's up, Secrets fam? What's up, hubs and hubbies? This is your girl, Alice, and I am back with another one. This is going to be a lunar le- uh, a lunar lyric segment, you guys. Damn. <laughs> um, for you guys, so I'm very excited. Um, you are now watching the Hubble Space, brought to you by Secrets Beyond the Tarot Tarot Group. Thank you guys for all your love and support that you've shown thus far. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up button, the notification bell for more videos such as this one. Um, if you guys don't mind, just comment and try to comment more. Try to um, show, show, show more love show more love to these videos it really helps not only um with the circulation and the rotation of the videos here on youtube but it also helps me pick up on you guys's personal energy so that i can kind of um contribute more to your personal situations um making them feel like your own readings so now that that's said, um, the song that I was getting for Leo, this is going to be a lunar lyric segment for Leo, um, was, what did he say? He said, cause that type of shit don't phase a player. This type of shit is what makes a hater when you got it out the mud, yeah. Run it up, yeah. Really don't get no fuck, yeah. Get no fuck when you turn to them to something, yeah. Really hustling, yeah. Young and getting money, yeah. Getting money, yeah. Racks of riches, oh yeah. Racks of riches. Racks of riches. Racks of riches, oh yeah. Racks of riches. Hey, 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 he killed that motherfucker. Okay, big boy. <laughs> I love me some Rob Wave, y'all. But anyway, uh, yeah. So this is going to be for Leo. I definitely feel like you guys have been selfish. Y'all have been selfish. And in a good way, though, Leo, it feels like y'all have been getting y'all priorities straight and in line. Y'all have been having tunnel vision. Y'all ain't letting nobody throw y'all off y'all square. It definitely feels like y'all is not trying to let things... Um, you're noticing certain trends and certain... Um, elements that have held you back or people or uh yeah or people or um what is it called atmospheres that have hold you back and kind of threw you off threw you off your square whether it, it could it could even be just your energy you know what i'm saying you get around the right motherfucker and it fuck up your energy and you just fucked up for the day they say the wrong thing and shit it just fuck up your whole day you don't even you ain't even as bright and positive and optimistic as you was before you went in this motherfucking house you leave this motherfucking house you like damn i don't even want to just take me to fuck home type shit i feel like you're um you're really dissecting you're really um starting to you had to do some introscoping, which led, which led to you, um, the ob the observation and discovery of you guys, um, realizing where the problems lied, uh, where the problems with you going in these like cycles in this merry-go-round lie, and I see that you guys came out. And you're like, damn, I can see this shit for what it is. I can see clear and. I'm not finna be in the same place. I'm not gonna stay stagnant. I'm not gonna keep getting right back to where I am. I mean, I've you've you've probably made plans for yourself, five year goals, ten year goals, and you don't feel like you've necessarily obtained them. And if you have obtained some, you just feel like you should be further along. I don't feel like you guys, even if people around you are saying, Man, you're doing your thing, don't even trip. You know what I mean? I don't feel like you're willing to accept that. You feel like it's kind of just um, something to pacify you because you're definitely, uh, you definitely, I get the mindset that you guys want to be the fucking goat. Y'all want to be the greatest of all time. You guys w just want success. You want to reach your peak and you want to be known. You want people to look at you. You want your life, your lifestyle to speak for itself. You don't necessarily want to go out. You know what I mean? bragging and boasting but you definitely want your hard work to speak for itself it to manifest and spew through y y the way you walk the way you carry yourself um the, uh the way you live the way you speak you know what i mean it's a certain, you know what I mean? You could just tell. It's not about what you wear. It's not about the type of house you got at the end of the day. But you could just tell when someone's, um, you know, what do they say? They say the loudest motherfucker in the room is probably the brokest and the most ignorant. So 
I definitely just feel like um, you guys are getting your, you're focusing, you're switching your focus and you're starting to focus on the right things. A lot of you guys are um, piling your bread up. Some of you guys have just got new cars or thinking about making some new um, moves. I'm feeling like some of you guys are have been thinking about some type of plastic surgery, some type of uh, renovations to your home, or some of you guys are actually, um, it's kind of like you guys turning what well, he said he said it he said turning um he said when you got it out the mud and turning nothing into something and i feel like that's what you guys are doing some of you guys i don't know why i'm, I'm led to say this but some of you guys are gonna lose a place some of you guys are getting ready to lose a place and um regardless of whatever the case is it don't necessarily have to be because you ain't making payments or you they snatching away from you but maybe it's not um, uh, with something with health code, health codes, or maybe it's something with, uh, maybe it was something that you inherited and something, you know, your family, I don't know, but whatever the case is, it feels like somebody, uh, may have, uh, will be losing a house or losing a big asset. And this could kind of really put them in some type of rut, or it could have definitely put them in a rut, but you guys have already been preparing to kind of advance yourselves in your life and transform um, your agenda, transform your uh, focal point. And I definitely feel like this preparation, um, you didn't even realize was getting ready, um, getting you prepared and getting you ready for this new facet to kind of be more independent. Some of you may have, um, had a lot of family's help or some of you guys could have been getting some type of uh, uh, living assistance or some type of assistance with the government. Some of you guys could have had a really great job. And because of COVID, you lost um, you lost uh, money or had to downsize to a certain degree. Whatever your specific situation is, Leo, it definitely just feels like um, you guys were preparing, preparing and didn't even realize. It's almost like I feel like some of you guys went through this really dark phase and couldn't get out of this like you were trying to shake this like depressed um stagnant um the uh, uh, feeling off leo but you didn't even realize that in the five dimension the fifth dimension y y your ancestors was allowing you to grieve you were purging off a of old lifestyle old thought systems that you guys had adopted and you had inherited and that you were accustomed to um, you didn't realize that they were preparating you. All of this was a part of the plan. So you like, damn, why can't I get out of bed? Why I'm so stressed out? Why I'm so sad? Like, why I can't, you know, pick my head up? Why I keep crying at everything? You know what I'm saying? Whole time you grieving some shit you didn't even realize. You know, you getting ready to lose something for something better. You getting ready to drop some friends for a whole new lifestyle and shit. You know what I mean? Like you were, you, you were getting ready to make a trade in. You were trading your old life. Um, for success, for a guaranteed success, and you didn't even realize it for a new uh, work ethic, um, or you know, so on and so forth. But I definitely just feel like um, uh, your spiritual guides, uh, Leo, was pre preparing you. Um, this hard work, this determination, this tenacity, you guys were focused um, and getting ready to preparate yourselves for this new beginning. And I definitely just feel like um, you're there now. A lot of you are there now or you're getting ready. Like you're right there at the precipice. You are there. And I feel like, um, people, yeah, y'all finna have like, everything is just finna be great. And whereas to before a lot of you had high stress levels, like, I don't know what it was about your lifestyle or your life. Maybe you guys were living above your means. Maybe something wasn't rightfully yours and it was stressing you out. Maybe you was putting a lot of money to something that wasn't rightfully yours is what I'm hearing. I don't know what that means. Only you do. Maybe you were putting a lot of money towards someone or something uh, that wasn't your responsibility or that wasn't rightfully yours is what I'm hearing. But whatever the case is, I feel like a lot of things with this clarity and with this new profound um, um, like uh knowledge i feel like you guys are able to kind of it's it's almost dissected um you know your obligations uh from things that had nothing to do with you or things that you were putting too much money too much energy too much time into that was not contingent on you being successful and you having the fulfillment that you have been dreaming of and desiring um with that being said so now that these um things have been prioritized and dissected 
in such a way you had nothing in the way there was no longer any obstacles or anything in the way it's like you just had a clear um paved out um an organic map or uh what is it called um path to success and you jumped on it you pounced on it and you are on that path currently it feels like you guys are on that path and you guys are literally like hitting bonus after bonus after bonus i'm literally seeing somebody in a game like in one of those um arcade games or one of them kids games and like you're on this path now and there's nothing but there's a straight path you know what i mean there may be little minor stumbles like one of them little crabs that you got to pounce on and you know knock out the way <laughs> but other than that it's mostly bonuses you hitting ten thou five thou you know what i mean you getting bonuses left and right so you're getting um you're getting blessings left and right for all the hard work and you being able to let go of things that god dictated not a necessity and as a uh, distractions and not healthy and not conducive to your success you were okay with letting those things go you didn't care if it hurt you don't care you didn't care what it meant you just were being obedient and because of that you guys are going to start seeing though you have already started seeing the fruits of your labor but um there's some amazing things coming up this uh summer for you guys leo so i think that is um y'all upgrading upgrading i think that is the message i was supposed to give to you guys for lunar lyrics i really love that reading so uh shout out to y'all leos good luck and bye